from from what I've read and heard, uh, typically people would recommend above a thousand micromoles um, per meter square per second that it is um, uh, beneficial to um, increase CO2 in parts per million uh, to the same number. So if it was a thousand micromoles up to about a thousand ppm, if it's 1400 micromoles up to about 1400 ppm, have you found that to be true? It, no. Um... CO2 is a low cost input and the, uh, the leaves saturate at about 1200 parts per million. Okay. So before you start paying a big electric bill, you should always get your CO2 to 1200 parts per million. And even if you have lower light intensity, it still proportionately increases photosynthesis. Um, if CO2 was an expensive input, then maybe we could go by this rule of thumb that you just mentioned, but the, I would, oh, it's a cheap input compared to the electricity to run the lights. So I would always put it at the optimum level and then increase the light. And if for argument's sake, somebody was running a, um, a system at 800 micromoles for argument's sake, but at standard, you know, atmospheric uh, CO2 levels, so about 400 parts per million. If they did increase those parts per million, CO2 um, up to uh, 1,200, the maximum they, 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 the plant can absorb, um, how big an increase would that be on the rate of growth, do you think, in, in rough terms? We usually say that there's a 30% increase in photosynthesis. That's kind of the standard um, for going from 400 to 1200. That's pretty significant. Irrespective um, of the power intensity. Yes, yes. Wow. Irrespective of the power intensity. I mean, it's sort of a incorrect, I, I guess I won't call it a myth, but the idea is if you don't have high light, you don't need high CO2. But 30% 30, 30 of one is still an increase. 30% yeah. of 10 is an even bigger increase, but it's always 30%, okay. um, even at low light. And then the question is, does that translate into increased yield? And at least in the case of cannabis, our studies indicate, yes, it does. So it's not just a 30, and it can be a 50% increase in photosynthesis resulting in a 30% increase in yield. 